Well, hey everyone. Um, I thought I might just do a quick update now that I've uh, recut and flattened and checked the um, the top. Basically, what I did is you can kind of see from this view it, it was a little bit higher. And I've flattened that almost entirely, and then I've added these um, crosshatch marks on the top. And I have to say, I was a little skeptical about how well they would work. I'm super, super happy about it. Um, anyway, um, I hope that helps you on your journey a little bit. Um, I think the angles of the legs, I can't remember what that angle, sorry, I'll do it this way. I can't remember what that angle was, but if it helps, this was cut at a 15 degree angle back. So if you wanna set that angle, it would be easy enough to basically set your saw. Uh, if, if that's square, obviously 90 degrees, uh, 15 degree, angle back and then if you make that into a 90 degree angle then that will be your full um, full run uh, I don't have um, I don't have a protractor or a square on me right now to be able to check that but I thought if somebody wanted to kind of uh, replicate exactly what I've done that's a really good way to start so yeah that's some strapping that I added from an old tool belt so that's my loop my um, axe loop this is first aid, a little clip for my mallet, and then the maul sits in there. And then around the back here, I've got a little screw for the oh, for the saw. And then you can see here is the uh, the brush, which especially for these notches, the brush is super handy because if I'm wiping my hand over, I'm going to miss a lot of the cracks. So I have found that brush really really handy. Um, and then obviously this is the notch to rest the uh, the sides of the spoon, which has just been really solid. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy that and I hope this helps you out a little bit.